Hi everybody, welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big. Again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got all the tools for you right here. We're going to get into some NBA action for January the 29th, but before we do, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so we're getting close to the midway point of the NBA season, and teams want to enter the All-Star break on a high note, so let's take a look at some of the most important matchups for Monday, January the 29th. It is a pretty full slate of games. The first one we want to look at is the Clippers and the Cavaliers. The Clippers come in burning hot. You can see winners of five out of the last six games. And Cleveland is burning hot down. They are five and one over their last six, coming off of a loss to Milwaukee by 10 points on the road. If you take a look at the over-under, the teams have been trending in games over the line over the last few games. You can see that that was after a, a streak of four straight games under the line, uh, games involving Cleveland. The score prediction has Cleveland by a 118 to 111 score. Confidence in the prediction is rather high at 75%. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, uh, Clippers are on upward trend over the last uh, week and a half or so, up to plus 25, and Cleveland has dipped down to plus 18. Head to head, you can see that the teams have not yet met this season. If we take a look at the stability factor, how consistent are they playing with regard to their favorite underdog status? Here's a big thing here with the Clippers, extremely consistent at plus 21. Hey, Cleveland is rather consistent as well at plus 11, but not nearly as much so as the Clippers. The big thing here as I'm looking at is that Cleveland is 15 and 8 at home and the and uh, Los Angeles is only 9 and 10 on the road. So the Clippers have been consistent and they are going to be a road underdog, although the, the line's not out there yet. The Cleveland, uh, the Clippers will be a road underdog in this one, most likely. Uh, so if I put this all together, I do like Cleveland to win this one. I think it's going to be a higher scoring game. So let's take Cleveland then over the line. We're not going to look at the next Hornets, Pelicans, Boston, Phoenix, Miami. All good games, but I'm not going to take a look at any of these. Next game I want to focus on is the Lakers and the Rockets. The Lakers come in average up, winners of four out of their last six. While Houston has dead status just one and five over their last six. If you look at the um, over-under, uh, Lakers, four games in a row involved over the line, and uh, Houston, four out of the last six over the line. So a pretty good chance that this is going to be a higher scoring over the line game. The score prediction is for a tight one, with the Lakers winning by a mere point, but 79% level of confidence in this prediction. The power ranks indicator, both teams are just hovering right around here in the middle of the pack here. Uh, Lakers a little bit higher than the middle at plus 15, and Houston a little bit lower than the middle at plus 9. Head-to-head -head wise, have the teams met yet this season? Let's take a look. And In fact, they have. They have met three previous times, with the Lakers winning two out of the three games, both their wins coming at home. The, the one game that Houston did win was a blowout uh, at, in their home court, um, which is where they are right now. But I don't know if that's going to play a big uh, factor in my determination. But I do like... The looks of Houston when I consider this. Houston is 16 and 8 at home, but the Lakers are terrible at, on the road. It's just 6 and 15 on the road. That alone is going to lean me towards the Rockets. I think I'm going to go with the Rockets. It could be an overtime game to do so. Let's take the Rockets and over the line. Minnesota and Oklahoma City. This is going to be a great game. The top two teams in the Western Conference face off. Both teams are burning hot. Oklahoma City and Minnesota both 4-2 and two over their last six. The over-underline trend has been under the line mainly, like two out of the th last three games for Oklahoma City under the line and three out of the last four for Minnesota under the line. The score prediction, if this holds true, would, would most likely be over. The lines have not yet been set, but 120-114, to 114, the 234-point total is generally going to be over the line. 66% confidence in this prediction. Power ranks, not a surprise, both teams near the top. and Considering there's only a half game difference between the teams and the standings, most of these numbers are going to be close to each other. And as you can see here, Oklahoma City 28, Minnesota plus 27. Head to head wise, let's see, they did meet, uh, well, they already met three times this season with Oklahoma City winning two out of the three. Um, Minnesota one and one at home in those three games. So, Really, this is kind of like a toss-up game. If you really want to come down to it, both teams are excellent right now. It's pretty much a toss-up. I'm going to favor the Thunder for being the home team. 
and I think this is going to be a close game. So let's go with the Thunder and over the line. Sacramento and Memphis. Another game we're going to take a look at. Sacramento comes in average up two and four over their last six, while Memphis is three and three over their last six, burning hot after just one and three over the previous four uh, on a two-game winning streak. If you take a look at the over/under, the teams are trending on opposite sides of the over/under line as of late. So that makes it uh, kind of an iffy proposition for betting the over/under line. And the score prediction, although it has Sacramento as a, a seven-point favorite, uh, seven-point favorite, seven-point winner in this game, the confidence in the prediction is only 43%. So take a look at that as it gets closer and closer to game time before you decide on a score. Um, Head-to-head, -head, you can see Sacramento won the first game. On the road at Memphis in a blowout fashion, a 31-point road win last time. The stability factor, let's see if this is going to play a part in this. Uh, both teams moderately consistent at plus 9 and plus 8. Although lately for Memphis, not very consistent. Over the last month, they actually dropped from plus 10 down to plus 8. So that's showing that over the last few weeks, not very consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. I do like the Kings to win this one, uh, but I am going to pass on the over-under bet. And you can see there's a couple other games. The last game we want to look at is Milwaukee and Denver. This is a, going to be a great game also, I believe. Denver, the defending champions, at home, hosting the Bucks. Denver right now, average status, coming off of a loss. They're 4-2 and two over their last six. Milwaukee, 5-1 and one over their last six. Denver comes in third in the Western Conference, while Milwaukee is second in the Eastern Conference. Look at the trends as far as the over-under goes. Denver, kind of surprisingly... Uh, trending in games under the line uh, in the last four. Uh, well, uh, excuse me. Well, Milwaukee has been over the line in four out of the last six. The score prediction is going to be rather high score. If this holds true, this will be over the line. But the 120-117 score in favor of Denver has a confidence in prediction of only about 52%. So take that with a grain of salt at the moment. Um, power ranks indicator. Milwaukee, you see, was below Denver for quite some time here. and But now they're back up on top. At plus 26 compared to plus 24. Let's see if the teams have met yet this season. They have not. In the two games last season, they split both teams winning at home. And um, yeah, both teams winning at home. Denver by a 23 point margin and Milwaukee by an 8 point margin. So, what I'm looking at on this one here is I think this is going to be a Denver win. I really like Denver at home, but I think it's going to be a rather low scoring game. I'm not rather low scoring, excuse me, by a, a rather low margin, by like five points or less. And I do like the, both teams' offenses, so I'm going to go over the line. So that's going to be Denver and over the line. Okay, there you have it for the NBA for January the 29th. Happy betting. See you again next time.